Pluto is a generational planet. It is not as personal to you like the other five personal planets are. One of the things I see so often in the astrology space is people will say something like, I have Pluto in the third. Help! What does that mean? You're fine. Pluto represents generations. We're talking 15, 20 years of people. And don't get me wrong, if you have the sun or the moon in a tight conjunction or opposition with that Pluto, then yeah, you have a more Plutonian life. But let's be clear. Pluto is a generational planet. It talks about the underbelly of society. What are the transformation, the corruption, the abuse of power that is happening within a generation of people? Pluto in Scorpio, the millennial generation. Pluto in Leo, the baby boomers, right? Like these are generational themes involving a mass group of people. So if Pluto is just sitting in a house in your birth chart and it's not making any tight configurations to your luminaries or your five personal planets, I wouldn't be worried about Pluto. And the same goes for Uranus and Neptune too. Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto are outer planets. In traditional predictive astrology, these outer planets do not rule over signs, meaning Aquarius is ruled by Saturn, Pisces is ruled by Jupiter, and Scorpio is ruled by Mars. These outer planets have to deal with entire themes of generations of people. You really want to understand who you are, what you came here to do, and understand your timing. I would first focus in on your luminaries, your sun and your moon, Mercury, Mars, and Venus, the five personal planets, and then work your way to Jupiter and Saturn. But Neptune, Uranus, Pluto, don't fret, don't stress over these generational planets.